and welcome to Bobbin Sewing School. My name is Ali Warner. I have over 30 years experience in dressmaking and alterations and I've been teaching classes for the last seven years. Today I'd like to share with you how to invisibly sew a hem by hand and I'm going to be giving you lots of tips and tricks along the way. So let's make a start. So here we go. For your invisible hemming you're going to need thread that actually matches the colour of your fabric. We're using a dark thread today just so I can show you the, um, the stitches clearly. You want a, a hand sewing needle. Don't choose too big a needle. You want one that's just comfortable for you to use. This isn't the size that I would normally use. I'd usually use a slightly smaller, thinner one. But again, just to show you the demonstration, I've chosen just a slightly thicker needle than I would normally use. You also want some sharp scissors or some snips. One of those will be very good. So I'm going to use the sharp scissors today. So I'm going to take my thread and I'm just going to take off about 60 centimetres. Don't be too inclined to use too much thread because you're going to cause yourself a few problems then. What will happen is the thread will knot and you'll get into a knot with the sewing um, and have to start again or you can end up just overworking your arm in, in actually having to take the thread through the, the, the project. So I'm just going to take about 60 centimetres of my thread and I'm going to snip it off with the sharp scissors. So the reason I like sharp scissors is because the thread end is cut neatly and what happens when you cut the thread end neatly, it means that you can actually thread your needle really effectively without having to spend hours doing so. So there's my needle threaded. A lot of people lick their thread and what happens is when you lick your thread you pull up little tiny fibres that you can't see to the naked eye. So just snip it and put it through the eye of the needle and you're good to go. So I've pinned my hem up into place so this will be the right side of the project and this is the inside of the project and I'm going to just fold back the little bit of the hem that we've folded back here. Now I haven't said it's best to work on a table rather than your lap. So I'm going to take my needle and I'm just going to take the needle up through the little bit of the hem that I folded back. I'm going to pull the thread through and then I'm going to put my needle back into place. I've left a little tiny tail there and I'm just going to make a little loop here. So the needle passes through the first time of the loop and a second time and we pull that tight and that just knots the thread into place. You can cut off this end or you can tuck it underneath. I'll tuck it underneath there for now. So your second stitch is going to come into your main fa fabric and you're just going to pick up a tiny little bit of thread there from the main fabric and you pull this through. Now this invisible hem is called a herringbone stitch. So it creates like little herringbones. I'll show you how that looks in a moment. My second stitch is going to come into the hem fold. So I'm just going to pull that through there. And my third into the main fabric. Again, just a little, little tiny um, thread. To take that pin out it's just in my way don't work with pins in your way take them out as you go and here we go so hem and main fabric just a tiny little thread hem okay and main fabric now you can see I'm pulling this thread through so this is why we only use a short piece of thread rather than a long piece and I'm just going to do a couple more and then I'm going to give you a tip. So if you were in fact hemming a pair of trousers, it's quite a nice thought to put in every now and again a little knotted stitch because this will stop your hem from coming undone. So what I've done is I've put my first stitch in and then in the same part of the hem I've put a second stitch and I've made a loop. So like we did at the beginning, we create a loop which we can then pull the stitch through and it knots it. This means that if you should put your heel through your hem, 
and the stitches came undone, it would only come undone from there to there rather than keep going all the way around the hem. So this is your herringbone stitch. I think you can see now it's sort of a, like a herringbone. Okay, and from the front, we don't see the stitches because we only picked up the tiny, tiniest little thread there. So even though I'm using blue on the cream, you can't see the stitches on the right side. You see them on the wrong side maybe just a little bit, but not too much. So I'm just going to now continue with this hem. Another tip is to work with the hem, as I've shown you, folded back. This means that when you press this hem, you can actually press over those stitches, but you won't create a ridge on the right side of the fabric where the hem meets the, meets the cloth. So, into your main fabric, into your hem and just continue round or along in that fashion. The stitches aren't huge, they're only little stitches, sort of between, well just over probably five millimeters long, not much more than that, between each one. So you have a centimeter-ish between each stitch. And believe me, that's enough. So I'm going to take that out. I think a lot of people make the mistake of doing tiny, tiny, tight stitches. And what happens with the tiny, tiny, tight stitches is when you look at it and press it and wear it, it starts to look a little like, yes, it was home done. So you want to keep that looking like a, a professional hem from the outside. So again, I'm gonna put a little stopping stitch here. And if I was going to carry on with this, I would just carry on. But I think I'm showing you how to finish off you're just doing that little knot. I'll do it one more time. So I just put one into my hem and one to here. So it's a little stitch into the hem, another stitch into the same spot, through the loop once, through the loop twice, and that ties everything off. And you can cut that off and it's a secure finish to your hem. That's the wrong side and that's the right side, so you can't see your stitches on the right side. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you again soon.